episode of Rap Slice. I'm your host, Jay Ocean. If you don't know what Rap Slice is, it's when we bring artists to the forefront to interview them about their talents and skills and also premiere the top five countdown of upcoming artists, not celebrities, upcoming artists. And I just want you guys to go ahead and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. But of course, we are gonna do something different today, guys. We are not gonna do a artist, but we gonna go ahead and bring out our stage of beats so you guys can get to know her a little more and see what she be doing behind the scenes. Cause I know we don't really bring her out. So this time you guys get to know who she is, what she got going on, and also get to know a little bit about her. So stay tuned for that. Of course, we gotta go ahead and premiere the number one video, which is ABM. Remember them days the block of the bus ten niggas got carried away. Remember them days when bitches they can we use it just bust on their face. Remember them days I wanted to hustle but bending them blocks of the way. Remember them days when kids used to play. If you walked in the park, it was safe. Innocent down, hoes be lying, niggas forever gon' fake it. So remember no cry, just wait on my best, don't fall on my gotta be patient. If you hear me up next to make it. If you up a roll, I'ma take it. Look, niggas gon' hate it, niggas gon' fake it. Yeah, I'm gon' fight like Satan. Huh? Not in the bone, just give me the neck. I put to be spinning like sushi. Huh? Rockin' this fair, I'm rockin' this loot. I told you I don't ride with Gucci. Huh? Remember them times a nigga was bald, hair was big and Stories. Niggas be dumb, they y'all ain't they feelings If you act, I thought you a goofy A nigga don't drink, I'm not doing lane I think it's gon' fuck on my man I play with her titties, I rub on her booty She told me I gotta be gentle I was fucking in shorty, she left taking paper Don't pull it cause we not official When I'm making a nigga gon' vanish But I can't get all the shit that I've been through, gang Remember them days we jetted from Cap, we down, no money to pay Remember them days when bitch was going for the whole squad, yeah, that's gang Remember them flights, you was high like a kite But you know we stay up on our sights On for the red night, run for the night Cause his ass couldn't even fight But now you hated on us, we getting our papers Stacking money to the roof And then you got mad cause I fucked the old bitch I have a pussy with loose We do pep so that gang So we show up to niggas, we don't bring no tools You got our name, your mouth, but we don't get no fuck We on the big crew We here to a top, we here to a squad Be fucking no bitches and poops But now we back on our chick cause they thought we was done They thought we was through But you don't even know that I came from the struggle So you can't tell me I'm a lose When I get all that money, I'm stacking my tanks So niggas needs catching the flu She asked me what was my name And I told her my time that she loving the dude Alright guys, that was just ABM Remember but of course, we gotta go ahead and bring out our producer and engineer, Miss Stasia B. You get to be in the seat today. I'm in the hot seat today. So I gotta ask you, Stasia. What's up? I know your name is Stasia, but how did you get the inspiration to call it Stasia Beats? Uh, it's kind of simple, like, cause my name, my full name is Angry Stasia. Okay. So it's like I just slice my name in half. It's also a lot easier for people to say my name that way. Um, and I got a real life passion for like making beats and really creating sound, um, and composition. So I really just put them together. I mean, it is who I am. So. Okay. You know? So quick cool question. So what was the first song you ever? Like, produced or engineered? Um, the first song I ever produced, it'll probably have to be something for myself. What? Because okay. early on, when um, I first started my involvement in music, I was an artist. I really started uh, making music as a rapper. Yeah, I was rapping this shit going crazy. I, <laughs> I can pull up some old, some old footage, you know what I'm saying? But, um,. Not too much stuff on the internet because when I, as I got into making music, mm -hmm. my passion really gravitated towards producing and shit like that. Yeah. So early but on, uh, yeah, it probably would have been myself, but like for some artists that people are familiar with in the city, mm -hmm. I've got work with people like uh, Hypno Carlito. I've got work with artists like Katie Yonkaki. Um, a lot of artists that I produce myself coming up, MTSO, okay. working on the Gang Culture album. So I'm really doing um, a strong rollout now more so than I was then okay. uh, but yeah I got stuff everywhere hey y'all make sure y'all lose the rap shit. name look it was Stasia it was Stasia <laughs> really so I just added the beast to it when I got shit for the beast when I was like 10 my rap name was Ace and shit I don't know what it was paid in full or something but, um, Okay, okay. Well, you guys know we gotta go ahead and get into the number two video, which is Solo the Three. Yeah, yeah. This is shit that my demons are made of. 
Bad little diva, no makeup. I see the team, we don't shake up. Money dancing on me, haters. Me need that music, no paper. So much dough, I be needing a baker. Don't be calling for me, let you pay up. Pop up flat and get geeky, and I came up. I just walked up out the house with too much sauce. I was supposed to tone it down, but I forgot. So much drip, I nearly drowned up at the lot. What the guard you trying to get brains up? So them niggas be talking my name up. I don't hear it at all. Cause that be you pussies and pussies, you gotta get weighed up. You lucky I love all my haters. Cause y'all niggas could drop in some minutes. Must be lighting the rocks with you with us. All of you riding the job for a mansion. My little baby stay like she from Memphis. Every time that I talk, she attentive. Don't tell lie to keep drawing attention. Throw the pack and get knocked out the mansions. Need a K out the top, it's a fancy. Need a K out the top, got a fancy. Boom, a choker, I left at the mini mansion. I don't need diamonds for dancing. But my diamonds like one of the Jackson 5 Holding the ball, yeah, they packing live Ammunition for the actors No one did it for me, made it happen I just lit the dirty, hope I'm strapped in Cause I'm flying coach up on the average We still hit the ground with my family These are shit that my demons are made of Bad little diva, no makeup Alright guys, so that was just solo with me, Dante You actually worked with him at one point, Yeah, right? yeah, I got him on the Game Coach album, man We got, uh, we got a track in I will tell y'all the name of it, but we're gonna wait till it drops. It's gonna drop soon. It's gonna be dope. Okay, so you know on this show we like to play games. So I got a game for you. What's up? So this game is called That's Gangster versus Track. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is okay. read to you something that a celebrity did. You want you tell me if that's gangster or if that's track. Alright, boom. She got it. She got it. She did it. Alright, so Lil Boosie got his 14-year-old. Son, a blowjob for his birthday. Is that gangster uh, or a trifler? That's trifler. <laughs> that's trifler. That shit is that's not gangster at all. That's so trifler. Why you say that? Cause it's like, first of all, he's fourteen, and I would assume <laughs> that if Lil Boosie initiated the situation, that it probably was not another child. I'm sure he he didn't go to another child and yeah, make he, that he probably had a a, a, a prostitute or some shit to that. So that's first of all, and second of all, like. Personally, I would not want to be that involved in my child's sex life. <laughs> that's Especially true. not at the age of 14. But, uh. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's trifling. That's wild. That's now. that rich. That's wild, man. <laughs> I can't even say that's rich people stuff right there. That's just. I got another one for you. Okay. P. Diddy is now dating his son's ex girlfriend. Is is she gangster or trifling? Is she gangster? She gangster for that. <laughs> it's kind of trifling, but she gangster. Say that's kind of she gangster for that, yeah. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, D Ray has two women that he considers his girlfriend and they all live in, in the same household. Is that gangster or trifling? I'm gonna call that gangster <laughs> just gangster. for the simple fact that he can pull that off for as long as they've been together. That's uh, true, it gotta be some type of mutual understanding going on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. They, they seem to pretty Chicago, much have huh? a happy life, though. Yeah. The girls, yeah, you gotta watch the documentary. It's an actually. They got a documentary? It's on YouTube. I didn't know that was out here that much like that. Like. Yeah, they happy with it. I think they are. He gonna put, end up marrying both of them or something like that. Is that legal? Police? <laughs> poli- no, nah, for real. Like, yeah. Is that legal in the U.S.? Mm, I don't know if they ever ruled against it. it okay. You can literally say it's like some religious stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because, you know, some religious, they, they want, it's okay to marry. More than one. Yeah. Have concubines and shit. Yeah, you know how that go. You know how that go. Okay. I got another one for you. Man breaks up with his girlfriend on a wedding day due to her cheating. Is he gangster? That's gangster. Chocolate? That's gay. They need to hear the rest of that. I told her that she was cheating. That's gangster. That's some shit I would do. You going to get her to spend all this money on a dress, do all this, get by her family. You know. And then break up with her on the altar. I'm going to say it's gangster. <laughs> But depending on how soon he found out, it's kind of dumb as hell. Because I wouldn't have went forward spending my money on that that's shit. That's true. But, but you know, when women get married, married, the man, the father has to actually fund the wedding. The woman's father? Yes. Oh, that's gangster. <laughs> good. He good. Made her look crazy in front of everybody. She got all dressed up and shit. Is that, is that mean to me? Is that fucked up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't that's gangster. Because she was wrong for cheating. But... She wasn't wrong. She he wasn't wrong for breaking up with her, but the way he did, I feel like he should have, you know, say, "Hey, let's call." I would have got back off on her by saying, "Let's call the wedding off." No, nah. <laughs> well, she disagrees. So. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right, so we gonna go ahead. 
I can't believe you. We're going to go ahead and get into the number three video, which is OTP Stevo. Rah, rah. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back as in Rah Rah Remix. I feel good. Take me there. You can keep that Rah Rah shit, all that Rah Rah shit. You can keep that Rah Rah shit, all that Rah Rah shit. You can keep that Rah Rah shit, all that Rah Rah shit. You be talking shit and you can get your candle lit. Chasing green, but soon as I walk in the party, all the bitches scream. Yeah, I'm married to the gang, I don't need a ring. Need and now my heart, body fell out, yeah, I'm chasing dreams. Yeah. But I'm up, I'm a boss, we some BON. Rest in peace to your homie, y'all won't meet again. I'm at the BT Awards, you on CNN. 20 shots to his head, he won't think again. You can keep that rah rah shit, all that rah rah shit. You can keep that rah rah shit, all that rah rah shit. You can keep that rah rah shit, all that rah rah shit. They can't get the hang of this, they miscellaneous Gotta know that fuck shit obsolete, that's a no-brainer, bitch Right now I'm in there with his hoes, that's he ain't All right, guys, that was just OTP, Steve-O What you got, what you got right there? Oh, these, um, actually some some get free studio time tickets that I got for artists. I'm doing a special right now on studio time uh, where I got three hours for $105. Ooh. It come with a solid mix too, so you can actually walk away with your music. Um, and all the artists that book within the next couple weeks gonna get a plug to get free studio time when Ooh. they get booking. So y'all definitely wanna make sure y'all tune in for that. All the <laughs> she artists, like all the so, cameras get. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got quality recording, quality beats, mixing and matching and all that, so. Yes, see, she did the same you too. You get it for the free. You get it for the free. You can't beat that. So I got, okay, I got a personal question for you. Okay. What goal do you plan to accomplish in the next year? Mm, in the next year, um, is to continue to grow the company, Soundboard Media, um, and just get a stronger presence in the city. Cause it's a lot of long term goals, but within the next year, just to keep going the expansion, get more brand awareness out here. Bring on more uh, engineers and producers so that we can mass produce. Um, Y'all hear more. that? Get into yeah. what are you looking to do some collaboration with her? Yeah. You know? I currently got two studios. I got another engineer I'm working with, uh, Chef Boy KG, that runs my studio B room. Okay. Studio. Chef Boy KG. Yeah, yeah, he pretty dope. Yeah, he pretty dope. So, yeah, we just bringing more people on the team and keeping it pumping out. In the next five years, we're going to have way bigger. Way bigger platform. Okay. Sure. Well, if y'all haven't noticed, we had a live band in the background. <laughs> you know, so shout out to the band in the other room. So I just want to let y'all know that's what y'all hear. They they they, they, they performing crazy, for us. Man. You feel me? They performing for they're us. Okay. Crazy. Shoot, that's what it's like when you're in the studio. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. People be doing stuff all over. So just excuse the noise. I'm glad y'all can hear. It. Glad y'all came out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I got another question for you. What is some advice you would give upcoming artists trying to make it into the industry? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good question. Uh, so for all upcoming artists, I say you really want to focus on like perfecting your craft as much as possible. Um, I think that's key because I think I think the easier it is for you to develop the sound, the easier it is for you to produce it. Yeah. Um, and after you got pretty much a comfortable, a comfortable pocket with making your music, the next thing is to you know just get out here, network, promote yourself, uh, get in the studios, work with different artists, and really gain a name for yourself and be as professional as you can. Please be professional. <laughs> <laughs> please be professional. I'm gonna say to this be camera, please be professional. Y'all gotta be professional out here, you know what I'm saying? Not just because of, you know, 
how it sets you to as an artist, but um, it just leaves a more lasting impression on the people that you come in contact with. And you know, even though we in Chicago, even though, you know, depending on what you're doing and what level you're on, you never know who be that person you get out so have you had any artists that has come in that you like, man, I can't believe I'm engineering or producing them like on, on some on some celebrity type some stuff? Celebrity or type like, oh, I'm kind of starstruck yet? Uh, not that not a session that I was engineering. Okay. Um, but I did. Uh, I was in the studio session with Lil Dirt not too long ago. Probably yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, not too long ago and shit. And I walked in. I was crazy because I walked in the studio. It was another engineer that I fuck with. Mm -hmm. And I hit it. I hit a nigga in the booth because he was already in the booth. I'm like, <laughs> hell no, nah, that ain't a little dirty. It sound like dirt. <laughs> Shit, I'm on my phone and shit. He walk out the booth. He's short as hell in real life. <laughs> yes. I'm like, damn, that's dirty as fuck. So yeah, it was pretty cool. It was nice little vibes in the session. Okay, that okay. Night too. Yeah. yeah, side note, I used to hang out with him in the hood, you know what I'm yeah. saying, when he was a little kid, 7th, 8th grade, shout out to you little dirt, <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> but of course, we're going to go ahead and get into the number four video, which is the Smooth Life, See You Again. Smooth Life, no 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 life, Rockin' wish, every Easter we readin' the scripts Every holiday we deep in your kitchen Feed the family, I'm hard to remember Go and get it, ain't nothing they gon' give you On the road, tryna make me a million Mind gone, tryna get out my feelings Whenever I'm down, you the spiritual healer Yeah, yeah, sweet potato pies and I'm coma cake Yeah, honey D, at your house, that's every holiday Yeah, I'ma see your face again, let them have a gate Yeah, family hurt, but I know one day we gon' be straight Sick. Seen you pray forever till she got better When you was sick Seen you pray forever, I seen them get better We your family, you showed us how to stick together I do this for the family I'ma love you forever and ever Just the way your life, what we go through I can't be mad that he chose you I'm just glad I got to know you I look up in the sky and it shows you Guys, that was just the number four video, The Smooth Life. See you again. Shout out to him. All right, so, uh, Stasia, do you have any, like, shows or projects? I guess you're not doing shows, but you got any, I know you got the game culture coming up. You got any mm -hmm. projects or anything you're working on right now that you want the people to know about? Yeah, I do. I want y'all to check out my artist that I signed to my record label, Soundboy Media, uh, MTSO. You can look him up on... Um, YouTube, SoundCloud, He's dope. Apple Music, iTunes, all of that. Uh, we got his single out, Lemon Squeeze. We're working on releasing his next single. Um, we pretty much doing a rollout most of the next year. Um, it's just a dope ass single. You're a pretty dope artist. You're only 16. You're going crazy. Going crazy, okay? Uh, what else I got I'm working on right now? I got the Gang Culture album still in the works. We got like some of uh, my favorite Chicago artists on the album. Right now we got the single out. I'm gonna say this every week until we shoot the video. Um, <laughs> the video gonna be dope as fuck, but we got the single out right now. Myself and uh, the Mexican family. Um, that's gonna be on the game for some album, so be expecting more from that. Uh, yeah, that's what we got right now. Doing the um the deal in the studio time. Three hours, four hundred. Everybody coming here. But she, a, but fuck the dollars. She got the she got the plugger. Oh, man, this all the dollars like y'all need. Y'all get, get like a discount up. on every one of these. You know, <laughs> For real, giving away the free studio time to all the artists that swag. Uh, and yeah, just working like that, so be expecting to see more work soon. Alright, look. Alright, so usually y'all know we hit a bell. There it is. So, Stasia, what I need you to do, I want you to get over there to the workstation and let us see what you got cooking. Okay, cool. Best. Say look. Alright, guys, so while she's setting up to let us hit one of her beats, 
we're gonna go ahead and get into the number five video, which is the Grinch Bug Bunny. We shot it on diamonds, and I hear diamonds when I neck. You know what it is. I skip. Carrots in my mouth like Bugs Bunny. Damn, I heard you niggas laugh, but ain't shit funny. Yeah, them bricks wrap tight like a mama. In my mouth like Bugs Bunny. Damn, I heard you niggas laugh, but ain't shit funny. Yeah, them bricks wrap tight like a mama. Whole bunch of guns like we kill zombies. Hey, enough with it tough. Cause my mama never gave a fuck. And my teeth would trip like a nail. And I ain't get no mail when I was in the cell. Now my teeth go like a Latin king. My baby mama is a Mexican. So my daughter is a Latin queen. Canary yellow nigga like it's clean. I played school, had the shacks, no rings. We couldn't pull in the holster, I was 15. We made a trip for about 14. We crossed the border, that's a good 15. I'm acting crazy without a bean. Gold chain on a Mr. T. Better mind your business and sip your tea. I kept the carrots, smoked up broccoli. Carrots in my mouth like Bugs Bunny Damn, I heard you niggas laugh, but ain't shit funny Yeah, them bricks wrap tight like a mama Whole bunch of guns like we kill zombies Carrots in my mouth like Bugs Bunny Damn, I heard you niggas laugh, but ain't shit funny Yeah, them bricks wrap tight like a mama Guns like we kill zombies. Ain't no 14 in my mouth, but this 22. Try to jump in my picture. Fuck, is you blues close? I done ran up in a nigga's house and made the news. Detective still looking for the loose.